Welcome back, everybody, to another Daikon Dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today, we are going to be reacting to, I hope I pronounced this right, Olias, Olias of Sun Hillow. Right? I believe that is, that is the correct pronunciation. If it is not, apologies. We'll probably figure out as we um, continue forward. But we're going to be checking out this, this record, which um, I've been wanting to listen to for a really long time and I've been putting off just because just because, and um, we're finally going to do it, finally going to get to it. Uh, so it's a John Anderson solo album, I'm very excited to check this out, um, huge thank you to the people, you know who you are, who keep on, who like kept on requesting this, um, and yeah, so there's a few different things that I want to say before we get into this. First of all, um, if I'm not mistaken, from the descriptions that people have given me of this album, it's, it's, uh, the music is, is a little bit more ambient than some of the other stuff that I react to in the past so um I'm just gonna really just like let myself go and and float through the the melodies and John Anderson's angelic voice and you know stuff like that you know so um apologies if I don't have a ton to say while I'm recording the reaction to the music but then as we you know continue we'll obviously get to the lyrics and stuff it's going to be uploaded in two sides, but I'm going to listen to the whole album at once, and then I'm going to, in post, I'm going to edit in my um, lyrical dissections, and I'm going to edit in some, like, reading of these these uh, these liner notes and art and, and um, the story that goes with it. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. So, yeah, I, just, I kind of just want to get into it. So, um here we go. Before I do, though, let me show you what the interior of the um, of the beautiful record looks like. We've got lots of lots of cool art. The art style is very um, interesting compared to some of Yes's other work. It's a little bit um, it almost looks darker. Like this has a lot of this has a lot of stuff going on. I don't know. I don't know why, but. Like, what am I looking at? Is it a boat? Is it a insect? Is it a monster? Is it... I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to embark upon this journey. Thank you for joining me. Let's get into it. John Anderson, Elias of Sun Hillo. Um, and obviously, if you're watching this, it's um, side one. All right. Um, the very first song is called Ocean Song. Let's go.
science fiction-y it feels like. I wonder if it's a fantasy though. Um, I really like it so far. So that's exciting. I wasn't sure if I would. It's all very evocative.
at the end of that song? Wait. No. Okay. <laughs> going on at any given moment with um, all the music is doing lots of, yeah, it's very cool. It's very, very cool. Is this the last track on this side of the album? Wait a second. It is not. What are these names? <laughs> Seven minutes, cool. Let's go.
bathed in vibrations and sound, and it's a soundscape that I'm listening to. I also have no idea what he was just saying. Not a single clue. And yet somehow it doesn't matter at all. attention right there it was so like i don't i don't even know what headspace that put me in that was so good wow all right so um i finished my reacting to the entire album already when you're watching this obviously this is going to be cut up and put in the different sections but um yeah and i took a little bit of a break and was freezing so i put on a second layer um and then 
like when I went to go do that, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I should have worn this for the reaction. And I didn't, but I have it on now for the lyrical dissection. So um, before we get into anything else, let's first take a look at how legible is all of the writing on this. I got some of it. Um, there's a there's like a whole story involved with this. Maybe I'll maybe I'll talk about it in this part two. I'll make it easier to edit part one. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the um, the little excerpt from this, um, but later. And I was kind of following along a little bit while listening to the album. But let's take a look at the lyrics to the first side, which are let's see. Um, the very first song is Garden, is Meeting, Meeting, all right. So the very first song, there's really, actually the very first song is Ocean Song, which is an instrumental. Um, there's actually not a ton of lyrics. So before we get into lyrics, let me quickly just go over some of my thoughts. Obviously, now that I'm recording this, I've already heard the whole album. Um, it was definitely an experience. It's different than a lot of other albums that I've reacted to in the past. It calmed me a lot in a, in a weird way. Um, yeah, it was very calming. But it was also like euphoric. There, there, was, there was multiple moments where I was just being washed by these, um, uh, just the, the sonic energy of, the, of each track. And it was like, holy cow, this is, this is crazy. This is quite an experience. Um, and it was really, really cool. Um, it was described to me as like ambient music that's like could be used for meditation, you know, and um, I think that that definitely makes sense uh, upon upon reviewing the, the album itself. And um, yeah, the whole album went together very well. All the tracks bled together in a very organic way. The instruments were very interesting. I'm not even sure exactly what one of the main instruments are. Lots of cool sounds throughout the whole record. Um, so yeah, the first track was an instrumental. The second track literally just says Garden of Gita? Gita? I wonder if I could find meanings for some of this stuff. Well, that's stands for Georgia Economic Developers Association, apparently. Um, hmm. All right, uh, yeah, all right. Let me know if you have any ideas or know anything about maybe what mythology this could be from, unless it's John Anderson kind of making up his own mythical creatures, which I would not put past him at all. Um, then the next song is called Sound of Galeon. Galeon. Is that a type of boat or a type of currency? Let's see. A sailing ship. Let me. Galeen. Galeen. Galleon. 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 Okay, cool, cool, cool. Galleon. A sailing ship in use from the 15th to the 17th centuries, originally as a warship, later for trade. Galleons were mainly square rigged and usually had three or more decks and masts. They're big, big ships. All right. So sound out the galleon to travel, to cross. Close the space between pastures as rightly attained as old stands to plunder. Expectant as one dear companion can utter the right we achieve. We're going on a journey. I'm right, my dad game down here. Sorry, let's continue. Uh, climb summer mornings and tell me of days past. Did we all sing of the praises of love and his one hand raised high in the dark, total relating appointed close factors of what we regard as the answer lies there and his one hand raised high in the dark. I love how he paints pictures with his words and how sometimes um, the words are more, they're, they're very stream of consciousness a lot of a lot of John Anderson's lyrics feel that way and it's uh, it's always mystical it's always cryptic it's always eccentric and um, it's fun to think about try to figure out like I could listen to these lyrics over and over and over again and come up with new interpretations of what I think they mean every time and uh, yeah like the music of yes and 
I've never heard of John Anderson's solo project before. This is really cool. Um, his music as well, just by himself. Did he do all of it? Wait, I wonder if there's credits on here. Like, because that's crazy if he recorded all of the different parts alone. Um, he had companions. Cool, cool, cool. Music written and performed by... No, music written and performed by John Anderson. Wow. So he did all of that by himself. That's quite an accomplishment. I don't even understand how you, like, conceptualize a, a work like this and do it all by yourself, you know? It's... That's... Yeah. All right, let's continue. Total relating appointed close factors of what... Yeah. There stands Elias. Elias. To outward... To outward to build a ship. Holding within all we hope to retain... The frame will be built. The frame will be so built to challenge the universe, clasped with the skins of the fish of the plane. So they're like talking about how they're going to build build the boat. Mastered volcano erupt with the pleasure and sing to the power we will sail to the east and all hands shall rise to the call. And then we have this. I have no idea if this is... Um, yeah. Hmm. Are these just nonsense words? Or are they in an another language? No, nope, it does not say. That's interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right, citing our vision, Ran, Ran Yart will precision us from all our points to our destined recall and shall all but rejoice to it all. There stands Quo Quack and shall point to the four corners, reaching out faster shall overtake you to bring you to safety, to travel away from this moment that's rightly attained as your view, to sound out the Ga Galleon, I literally just looked it up two seconds ago, whatever. To travel to cross, close the space between pastures as rightly attained, as old stands to plunder, expectant as one deer, companion can offer the right we achieve. So we're sounding out the boat and we're, we're heading out on an adventure. We're going out and we've got the dance of Ranyart and that's another instrumental, so... Hmm. Mm-hmm. Then Elias to build the moor glade. Elias awoke from a dream and drank his soul into the ocean that sailed past the brink of his win of his window that long summer. Then built the ship the moor glaive mover to sail a silence which nobody knows. A mystical journey, if you will. Elias shines as clear as his sun's, which makes it sound like they're singing about a star. Emotions retrace him. As one delivers, always one will shine over you. I have sailed and always will to parts of Sun Hillo. Ride on, Elias, remember your begotten father. I have trailed and sailed a silence which nobody knows. Ride on, Elias, remember your begotten sons. Lay, 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 lay. And then, wait, was that it? Is that all of the, um... Elias to build the Morglaive. Is that the last track that we heard that was not the last track that we heard we made it farther than that let's see um side one ended after five i think so yeah this one um which is just another instrumental okay then this one, which is to move, we delight, call his name. We chase as we run, the motion decide, call his name, Arya. O oh, lend a clear light, we motion the stars, call his name. We chase as we run, to move, we delight call his name we chase a clear light the ocean decide call his name there's a um what's his name uh 
the guy who wrote the Chronicles of Narnia. Why is his name slipping? C.S. Lewis. Okay, C.S. Lewis wrote a book, um, or a series of books actually, but the second one is my favorite one. The name of it is slipping me right now. I've I've talked about it before on the channel. Uh, the second one's really really good and very interesting. Um, but a lot of these lyrics, just the the cosmic scale of it, but also like the spiritual aspect of it, are reminding me of those books a lot. Plus some other works of literature that I've read in the past, but that's the main one I'm thinking of right this second. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chase as we ride, oh, motion the stars call his name. First we hold your hand as we lay silent as the dawn. Words are told, your eyes, we will stay silent as the dawn. And we have this, which is another instrumental, all right? Let's see, was there any more that we made it through? I think Fight of the Moor Glade we listened to as well inside one. So that shall be the last one here. And the slightest confrontation was dissolved before the start. Each man belonged as clear as one clear hand, asking only comfort creation. He divided to the least each man open, set sights to new lands, and do remember you. The first to venture, first to gain, exploring daylight, clearer than the Talaplanic views. And there they were inside the moor glade, to move and to chant, all through force to position, as rhythm raced inside the ship. As, ry as rhythm raced inside, the ship came alive and was struck to the soul of perception and raised our head to space. So it's like they're flying a ship up, up to the stars. Yeah. And raised our head to space beyond all the mass and the mountains, the sun they were headed. Word of life rejoiced the sunlight, coursed the flower to open wide. Open they ride, climb into the dark sky. Such a moment kindly lingered, they set sail from Tallow Cross. A light to lead you is taken from the mass land to the east. As words are spoken, all courage be the token as the feast. Wide-eyed removing the precious moment we have seen. As always, with John Anderson, the lyrics are extremely cryptic and strange. I'm going to assume that reading more about the main general story idea of the album and reading the little short story that's actually included with the liner notes will might clear some things up um but yeah i'm loving it so far and um yeah i need to hurry up and stop recording so i'm just gonna say thank you all so much for joining me i really appreciate it if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and stay tuned for part two which will be coming very very soon all right i'll see you guys soon deathstroke nine out